What's up guys? It's Chris from Holland Fast TV. Uh so this is my very first video on YouTube that I've recorded for YouTube. Uh uh, even though I've had this channel for two to three years, this is the very first time that I've actually sat down and record a video. Um, and the reason for my recording today was I'm going to be reviewing a kayak, the new kayak that I just bought. Uh, and here it is. I bought the Lifetime Yukon 116, uh, which is the, it's an 11 foot 6 kayak and it's uh i believe it was lifetime's answer to the sun dolphin boss uh 12 ss or the ozark 12 12 ss i think it is known now as uh and basically i'm just going to go from bow to stern and give you an honest review on this kayak because i've only been kayak fishing for two years but in the two years that i've been kayak fishing i've seen the sport explode and I have not yet done any modifications to this other than I did put a little elastic strap under the seat. But that was so it could hold my rods for a second or two. It's, it's nothing special. I do plan on modding this kayak fully. And I hope to. I hope this review helps you if you're in the market to buy one. The first thing I'm going to start out by saying is for the price point at $500 you i don't see i have not yet seen a kayak better than this for five hundred dollars it i mean it's, it's not a jackson big rig it's not a bona fide ss 127 and you can't compare it to those two kayaks because those two kayaks are you know top end top of the line you know the almost a as close thing as you can probably get to a boat for a single man kayak um but for the price point at 500 dollars, this one has held up i have cheated some i have taken it out four times now and the i mean just just so that i could give you an honest review on it and the least amount of time that i've actually been out on the water on it is six hours uh not counting the you know the first time that i did get it and i had to go put it in a pond just to make sure it would float but i was only out there for 10 minutes then um so i'm just going to start at the bow and i'm going to work my way to the stern and i'm going to give you guys an honest review on this kayak uh start off first thing is you got this carry handle it's not molded in like a lot of the uh higher end kayaks it is screwed in and i have actually taken them out to see if it was nut certs under them and it's not so but i have pulled and pulled and pulled on this kayak strap and i have not got them to budge but i mean you can you can get them to budge uh we'll move on back you got this dry storage area here that actually goes the full length of the kayak and i uh, gotta clean it out but it's water resistant it's not waterproof uh i did take my kayak out and i got it extremely dirty and muddy i brought it home i washed it and when i did uh you know obviously hitting it with the water it did put water up in the hole but it is pretty water resistant and if you're out on a lake or a you know a a, a small river or anything like that doing what this kayak is intended for it's i don't think you'll get any water in it uh move right back behind this and this little uh piece right here is actually meant for a gopro i'm assuming you could probably mount a fish finder there i have not yet but the paperwork for it says it's for a gopro and then right behind that you have this stand assist strap and i, I will tell you uh if you're gonna plan on standing up this kayak is plenty of stable to stand up i'm 6'2 210 pounds uh and this kayak is plenty of stable for me to stand up on i have not stood up and fished yet because this is the first kayak i've ever owned that i could actually stand up in and i have not gotten comfortable setting the hooks on a fish uh with the kayaks moving on to the next thing you got gear tracks on both sides which i really thought was a nice price i mean a nice 
uh, piece for this price point that it came in at. Um, they're 12 ounce gear track, 12 inch gear tracks. They and on both sides, on both the left and right hand side, and they will accept Yak Attack mounts. They will accept almost any mount out there on the market. Um, and then you got your footrest, which I really like because you pull up on this piece while you're out on the water and you pull it in and it clicks to the next one and then the same thing to release it you just push and it pushes back to the next one and uh and if you can or if you can get to it it's got a release right here that pushes it that will push it back but on the water if you don't feel comfortable getting to it you can use this little gray piece that comes with it that actually works really well <clears throat> this kayak comes with eight scupper holes it does not come with any scupper plugs but a quick diy uh effort will can fix them or you can just buy scupper plugs you have six in the in the deck area two under the seat which i would suggest getting you know some scupper plugs for at least those two because you will get wet uh, especially putting in and taking out the kayak, you will get wet. But they they drain amazingly. Uh, I mean, the only time I've ever actually gotten wet on this kayak was getting in and out of it where the water splashes up, up through the scupper plugs, hits the bottom of your seat, now your butt's wet. Uh, moving, and this, this is how the seat, this is the locking mechanism for the seat. It's got two positions. It's got a low position and a high position. The low position being right here and the high position being right here. And it uh, it's fairly easy to lock in. I mean, you can simply just pull and then it's in. And then you push it down and you lock it back into the next place. I have not had a reason yet to lock mine into the low position. Um, I mainly fish lakes, but for the most part i have not had a reason to lock mine into the high i mean the low position yet i keep mine in a high position all the time i've been out on the water multiple multiple hours and it's just uh i i, I don't have any back pains i don't have any you know leg crampness legs falling asleep anything i mean it's just it's an amazing seat it's pretty well built you can adjust the seat right here you pull forward on this and it'll uh it'll adjust both sides up and down if you wanted to have the back of the seat laid down a little more if you wanted to set up a little more um supposedly the seat will fold up and so you can have this whole deck to fish from but i have not seen that happen yet uh or i have not been able to do that yet um because i just can't get the seat to stay folded up once I do fold it up to try to put it in that position. But uh, then you got carry handles on each side. You have a paddle keeper on each side. On the right hand side of the kayak, you have your drain plug. And I don't, I don't particularly like where this is located at, but typically the water sits about right here where my finger is, and it's not been much of an issue yet. I still wish this drain plug was on, either on the top of the bow or the back of the stern, uh, either one. And then you got two molded in uh, or flush mount rod holders in the back of this and it actually comes with this little little eyelet right here that the back of your seat has these bungee straps that clip right in here just like so and that keeps your seat if you were to flip this kayak from being able to fall out to the bottom of the lake moving on back you got a a very decent size tank well for a $500 kayak it definitely fits a large milk crate and a small cooler because I've had it in there every time that I've went out um, the uh, the elastic track or the elastic bands I don't particularly like these uh, just because uh, there is no way to move them around they're molded in the outer molded in I usually have to take mine and pull them off like this to make sure that I can get my crate and and everything situated in there to where I don't have to pull a lot onto those elastic bands 
uh but again for the price point at 500 dollars, i mean it is it, they're, they're still simply amazing they're nice and strong um i feel like if you if you had a milk crate that would fit in between this or you can pull them pull them forward some but i just don't like how it's sitting there putting that much pressure on it that's the reason why i don't do it uh it does come rated for 350 pounds i have not gotten close to the 350 pound mark yet uh so i don't know how it would act in but it is just this kayak on the water and now keep in mind any kayak will tip and will turn over but this kayak is just I, I mean i feel like i'm glued to the water when i'm on it and moving around to the back you got another uh carry handle here that is just screwed in at the tops on these two spots here now on the bottom of this kayak let me see if i can get it flipped to actually show you or i just pick it up on the bottom of this kayak it actually has a skeg wheel now this skeg wheel is nice if you are uh moving it on concrete or asphalt it does clog up a lot in the dirt and the rocks and it'll stop turning but it is sacrificial and it's actually meant to come off that you can replace on down the road with a new one um that's about it guys i mean honestly the, the kayak doesn't come with any paddles doesn't come with any scuffer hole plugs uh but for the price point at 500 dollars, I, I mean this kayak is well built i have scraped it up against a bunch of rocks i have not punched a hole in it i have you know i mean i, I use this kayak for i mean it, i primarily fish out of a kayak and i mean that's usually what i i mean i, I use it for that and I use it just like I would any other boat. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you like this video. I hope this video helps you out. If you can, hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment below if I can answer any questions that, or if you have any questions that maybe I didn't answer in this video. Um, and I hope to see, or I hope you guys are going to start seeing a lot more videos in the future uh, from this channel. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.